And one of the best ways to impress family and friends is to cook pork spare ribs. So today we're gonna to go through the process of how to cook these so that you can be a barbecue guy. Now the first step in doing a spare rib is to trim the ribs. We've already trimmed these down to a St. Louis cut. The next step is going to be one of the most important, and that's seasoning it. You first want to season the back side, so the bone side of the ribs. And what we do is take a little bit of vegetable oil or extra virgin olive oil, squirt it on the back. This will help give it a little bit of an adhesive nature. Um, the, the rub, this is an all-purpose spice rub, which we've made, um, but just generously put spice rub on the back side, which is the bone side of the ribs. Uh, this is gonna help give the, the ribs a really nice flavor, let that flavor penetrate all through the meat. So you do now, a pretty heavy coat there. Yeah, you want a, you want a nice heavy coat, because uh, you really want to get that flavor. There's really two flavorings. You're gonna get flavoring from the smoke, and you're gonna get flavoring from the spice rub, in addition to the fats and the flavorings, and the, the natural flavorings in the meat. You wanna let this rest for 15 minutes with the spice rub on the bone side. Then you wanna flip it over. This slab we've already seasoned 15 minutes ago, the, the bone side, and then we flipped it over. And so we wanna, again, take some vegetable oil on top. You can also use olive oil, and then that's gonna help the, the spice rub just stick on there. And then again, another heavy coating of spice rub. And again, you know, you can get good spice rubs at the grocery store pre-made, or you can make your own, um, which you know, allows you to put some of the flavors that you want in there. If you want it to be spicier, you can put more chilies in there. If you want it to be sweeter, you can put some more sugar in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this rest for another 15 minutes, and then we're gonna take these out to the, the smoker and get them on and get them cooking. All right, so we're out at the smoker. We've got the ribs rubbed down. So now this is a multi-part process, but we promise it's gonna be fantastic. So you've got the spare ribs. We're gonna be cooking them total four hours at 275. Uh, the big thing to do is you put them on the smoker. You wanna put bone side down on the smoker. Now these are gonna go two hours unwrapped. At, at two hours, then we're gonna wrap them in foil. We'll tell you those secrets in a second. One of the big things is every 30 minutes, you wanna take apple juice and make sure that you spray the ribs. It keeps them really moist. It caramelizes over the top. It just makes for a great moist rip. So we're gonna go ahead and spray them now. Just a light coat, but every 30 minutes until we foil them. So we'll be back in two hours. We're gonna have some great ribs. All right, so the ribs have been cooking for two hours unwrapped. Now comes the magic time. They're looking really great. So we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna do what's called foiling them. The, the way you do it is you take a layer of foil some brown sugar. We use a granulated brown sugar. You lay down a bed for where the ribs are going to go, and then you use just standard honey. And you lay down three layers, three lines. It's going to fit perfectly for the rib. So we'll take the ribs out. You can see two hours in, they're looking really good. They've got a beautiful color to them. They look really juicy. We're gonna put them face down and then do exactly what we've just done. Another layer of brown sugar on top and then three lines of honey. They're gonna add that perfect sweetness. So now you gotta wrap the ribs. One of the big keys is you gotta wrap them really tightly because for the next two hours, they're gonna get all the juices from the ribs and they're gonna stay and they're gonna really base themselves. So we fold it over really, really tight. So you just flip it over, so bone side down, back on the smoker, hour and a half to two hours. We're gonna test it. We're gonna come back and show you how to know when uh, ribs are done. <laughs>